Hi, I'm John, the banking systems engineer. And when I realized that all the politicians and parties were bought by big money, I decided to try to attack the banks through the courts. And this was my first stab, Bank of Canada, a gaming house. Bank of Canada, a gaming house by Tim Harper, Ottawa citizen. Gerald Bowie's caper may be over. John Turmel, the Ottawa man who spends his time gambling, running for election, and planning to rid the country of inflation and unemployment, is asking the Supreme Court of Ontario to order that the governor of the Bank of Canada stop charging interest. Turmel claims in an affidavit that Bowie is keeping a common gaming house, illegal under the criminal code. He likens interest to a fee for the use of chips, money, and a game industrial activity. His bid for a restraining order will be heard by a Supreme Court judge in Ottawa, September 29, 1980. Bowie's office said today the notice of motion had been received. The prospect of a set two before the Supreme Court excites no one else. It ex if no one else, it excites at least Turmel. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be the move of my career, he said Wednesday. That one and a half hours is going to be the best performance of my life. A Supreme Court official in Toronto said anyone can get a hearing for more or less any cause for just $15 to cover the cost of paperwork. Giving ordinary citizens a way of bypassing officialdom is another way of saying justice is accessible to everyone, he said. But few eccentric re requests are granted. And there are financial risks. The court may make an applicant pay his adversary's legal costs if they can catch me when I'm up at the tables. And the adver advers adversary may be able to sue for libel and slander and try and collect from me if I'm ever hot at the tables. Termel said he should have gone the legal route rather than the political route a long time ago. In his last foray into politics, he pulled 87 votes in a by-election earlier this month in Hamilton West. He said his system, in which only existing money can be paid as a fee, should earn him a Nobel Prize. Well, actually, I said three Nobel Prizes. But he's not sure he would accept unless his prize was retired, making him the final recipient of two out of the three. So, September 30th, Gambler asks court to ban loan interest. By Louis C., a Ottawa staff writer, Ottawa gambler politician John Turmel had his day in court Monday and came equipped with a blackboard, a felt-covered table with a sunken chamber for poker chips, a plastic ship, and a tomato. Turmel was there to ask for a restraining order forbidding the Bank of Canada to charge interest on loans. Ontario Supreme Court Justice T.P. Callan listened quietly to Turmel's 50-minute presentation on how to end unemployment and inflation by banning interest, then reserved his judgment. And the poor guy was an engineer. How many engineers you know become judges? Turmel used a tomato to illustrate production and the blackboard for the charts and formulas to show how he believes interest makes the rich become richer and the poor become poorer. The chips were there to dramatize his point that anything can be used as a medium of exchange, but they were also a reminder of his claim that Bank of Canada Governor Gerald Bowie is keeping a common gaming house, which is illegal under the criminal code. Turmel likens interest to the fee charged for the use of chips, money, and a game, industrial activity. His arguments followed social credit lines, and he said later he would seek that party's leadership at its November convention in Calgary. Fabian Roy, now working for a securities broker after losing his common seat, leads the party, but I don't see how he can keep the leadership now that he's gone into high finance, Turmel said. Well, anyway, at the convention, they decided to call off a vote and give the leadership to Martin Hattersley without an election. So I couldn't get it. Turmel also plans to run for mayor of Ottawa against Marion Dewar and Pat Nickel in the November municipal elections. So, October 3rd, 1980, Gambler loses bid to outlaw interest. John Turmel said Thursday the Ontario Supreme Court has turned down his bid for an order forbidding the Bank of Canada to charge interest. Citing gambling provisions, Turmel likened interest to a fee for the use of chips in an initial game and charges that it leads to a genocidal inflation and unemployment. Mr. Justice T.P. Callan ruled he did not have jurisdiction in the case, Turmel said. Turmel describes himself as a professional gambler, but he's also a perennial candidate for political office as he preaches his social credit views on money. He said Thursday he has not given up on the courts and would cons consult a lawyer about further moves he could make. So, I then went to the federal court. And the little article, no headline, says, on the 27th of February 81, 
Citizen, federal court has taken under advisement, reserve decision, a new bid by gambler politician John Turmel to stop the Bank of Canada from charging interest. There was no indication how long Justice Louis Marceau would take to give a ruling after Thursday's hearing. Turmel accuses Bank of Canada Governor Gerald Bowie of keeping a common gaming house, likens interest to a rake-off. The bank did not bother putting up a defense. When Turmel took his case to the Supreme Court, he was thrown out, no jurisdiction. That's why he's trying his luck in federal court. And then on the 3rd of March, 81, John Turmel loses round in Bank of Canada case. Gambler politician John Turmel's lost another round in court as he tries to stop the Bank of Canada from charging interest. Beyond the powers of the court was the crisp ruling of Justice Louis Marceau of federal court. Marceau went on to label Turmel's application for an order banning interest frivolous and an abuse of the court process, but he couldn't tell me to my face at the time. Undaunted, Turmel says he will appeal. So he... Next, Supreme Court of Canada hearing. This was in ooh, November 1982. So, Supreme Court reserve decision in Termel case. Whoa! John Termel's campaign against interest rates got a boost Monday as the Supreme Court of Canada reserved decision on his motion for a full hearing of his case against Bank of Canada Governor Gerald Bowie. Termel has made numerous efforts in the last two years to challenge the central bank's interest rate policy, and in virtually every case, judges have dismissed his arguments as frivolous. You can't pay back 11 when he only printed 10. Frivolous, frivolous. Termel, all right, but the 31-year-old self-styled engineer, no, no, that's my diploma on the wall back there. I'm a real engineer, I'm not self-styled. Uh, but the self-styled engineer, oh yeah, of the Christian Credit Party, arguing his own case before a panel of three justices, may have scored points Monday with a constitutional argument. He claimed that interest rates violate the right to life guaranteed him by the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Termel maintains that every time someone forecloses on a farmer, infants die as a result. Most motions to go before the Supreme Court are rejected after a brief hearing. The justices grant leave on a handful of the 30 or so applications they hear twice a month, or in reserve decision on a few more cases. Lawyers close to the court interpret reservations as an indication of the court's interest in an argument. We finally got to first base, chortled a Christian credit supporter after Justices Jean Beats, Julien Chouinard, and Antonio Lamer reserved decision after a 20-minute hearing. Their decision on whether to hear the case will be announced later this month. Termel, aside from his interpretation of the Charter of Rights, argued that laws allowing banks and other lenders to charge interest violate criminal code prohibitions against genocide and gambling. Mort Gage, death gamble. He's been assaulting interest rates on a number of legal fronts. For those facing foreclosures, he has a court action kit he says can stave off eviction for a year at a cost of about 45 bucks to the user. Get an extra year rent free, he said of the scheme. Successful users so far include Bella Devicherry, a Montreal homeowner who faced eviction in September, and George Bothwell of Owen Sound, whose beef farm was about to be taken over by the bank that held the mortgage. So, reserve decision at the Supreme Court of Canada, but Termel loses another interest rate round. John Turmel's latest attempt to have Bank of Canada Governor Gerald Bowie replace interest rates with a service charge was thrown out Wednesday by the Supreme Court of Canada. Think of how the world would have changed if they'd ordered the Canadian banking network worldwide to go to pure service charges and run it like poker chips. Mm. Could have saved the planet a billion souls, and I hope those billion souls are kicking their asses in heaven. Undaunted by his third straight loss in the highest court in the land, Termel said afterwards he was not given up the fight and was already planning a return engagement. The court refused Termel leave to appeal lower court rulings dismissing his case against interest rates, which he maintains are contrary to natural, biblical, and criminal laws. Termel's a founder of the Christian Credit Party, an offshoot of the social credit movement. The Christian Credit opposes interest rates, and Social Credit Party now is in favor of 6% usury. The Supreme Court heard his arguments November 1st, but reserved decision till Tuesday, apparently caught by his argument that interest rates violate fundamental freedoms guaranteed by the Charter. Termel 31 said Mr. Justice Antonio Lamer alerted him to the fact he was chasing after the wrong person and basing his case on Bowie. Lamer was intrigued by his argument, Termel claimed, but pointed out he was not properly directing his challenge. I'm going to go after the Justice Minister and the Finance Minister. I'm going to force them to protect us under the Charter. I've learned a lot since I started two years ago, and this time I'm going to rigorously ensure all the steps are properly followed. He's currently stick-handling four other motions challenging the validity of the interest rates before the Ontario Supreme Court, and three appeals before the Ontario Court of Appeal. Termel, a professional electrical engineer, be 
not professional, ordinary electrical engineer, trying to become the first accredited banking systems engineer, contends the economic system does not have built-in allowances for interest charges. Can't pay 11 when they only printed 10. When one person pays interest, someone else is the loser. The higher the interest rate, the more bankruptcies, he said. November 24th, 1982. First case to the Supreme Court of Canada rejected. Ah, but now it's a charge of murder. Next case.